How's it going Rogues Gallery and welcome to another Flesh and Blood video here on Red Zone Rogue. I can do all the things without even being in the screen myself. Today we're going to have a little bit of a lazy video because what's lazier than a booster box opening? Today we're going to open up this booster box of Monarch. But wait, where's the Red Unlimited logo? This is a first edition box of Monarch. This is one that I picked up a little while ago for about a hundred bucks. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> let's let's just open up some Monarch, man. Let's open up some Monarch. We're gonna we're gonna kick off 2022 by opening the very first Flesh and Blood set of 2021, right? It's the first set of 2021. The first new set of 2021. So yeah, let, let's open this up and uh, we'll talk. And we don't need this. We don't need no stinking box cutter because we can open these like a banana. You just crack it like a banana. Ah uh, yes, getting back to the old. The old cracking it like a banana. We're gonna talk about a couple different things here in the video. We're just gonna open up some packs. We're just gonna chat and just gonna hang out. So thank you for joining me today. I think this is gonna be fun. I think Monarch is a very underrated set. I think it will go down in history as one of the better flesh and blood sets. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. And it's really, really fun to draft and, and do all that kind of stuff with. So yeah, also this lovely play mat. If this is your first time seeing this play mat, then uh, you can pick one up on redzonerogue.com. Uh, this is art from a flesh and blood artist, Bima. Um, and he did this playmat for me. I do have ones with zones, ones without zones, and um, that's what that is. So let's open up some Monarch. What are we hoping for here? I literally have a full set from Monarch, so I don't really need anything in particular, but I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Bounding Demigon. Oh, it's been so long since I've opened up Monarch though. It's almost like a nostal nostalgic set for me now. It's It's been like, you know, not quite a year, obviously, but it, it feels like it, it feels like it. Good old Blood Tribute, Memorial Ground. We have a Foil Yellow Blinding Beam, which is actually pretty good. Use this card in, you know, various formats, commoner and whatnot. Uh, so we'll put the foils here. We have a Gallantry Gold, great card. Seek Horizon, I think the red one's actually pretty good. Tremor of Erathiel. This one's also pretty good in chain. And then we have our Galaxy Black token. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's open up some stuff. Um, I mentioned this playmat, first of all, because, you know, if you'd like to support me and buy an awesome playmat, then you have that option. But also because I, I recently make a, made a post on my Patreon. And if you'd like to support me that way, you can check out my Patreon. We have a community Discord and I like to post little like upcoming sneak peeks and that kind of stuff on the Patreon. But um, we have a zealous belting yellow. Um, Blood Drop Brocod, beautiful artwork. Speaking of beautiful artwork, that's what I was talking about. Soul Reaping, Vexing Malice, and then a Levia. So um, I've been thinking about how I'm going to be approaching play mats and art commission projects here on Red Zone Rogue in 2022. And I've decided that we're gonna have less of them, but they're all gonna be amazing quality, as good as this one with uh, flesh and blood artists or uh, anime industry artists. And so with that said, I'm planning on doing only around one new play mat per quarter. Um, and maybe maybe like a holiday mat or two, maybe like a Halloween or a uh, like a winter holiday play mat. We have a full rise above, absolutely gorgeous artwork on that one. There's a full rare, I'm just gonna put in the rare pile to be honest. We have stubby hammers, prismatic shield, absolutely beautiful artwork. And then, a, ooh, first majestic, we have Lumina Ascension, really nice. Really, really nice. And so um, I actually have the first three artists squared away. Two of them are flesh and blood artists. Um, and they're artists that I have not worked with before. So this is, is really, really exciting. They've actually both already kind of started working on the projects. Um, I'm really, really stoked for those. And then we are also having um, another anime style playmat for those who like the anime styles. Now, the fourth playmat at the end of the year, I'm not sure yet uh, what I'm gonna do. It'll likely be another flesh and blood artist. Could be a recurring flesh and blood artist. It's a foil Enigma Chimera, really, really awesome. Uh, we have stubby hammers, 
absolutely gorgeous Phantasmify. So this is done by Bima with pencil. And this art, this Phantasmify, is why I wanted to commission him because I love this art and did not disappoint. Absolutely amazing artwork. So yeah, Bima, Bima. Yo, and then we have, oh, another Majestic. Let's go. Toma Divinity, nice. Two Majestics down. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna tell you who the artists are yet. You are feel, you know, you can feel free to guess in the comments down below. I will say both of the artists did work on Monarch, so I can I can tell you that much, at least. Yo, we got a band card. Um, so yeah, both both artists did work on Monarch. I'm not gonna tell you which ones they are. I'm not gonna tell you if they're artists that I've gotten artist proofs from, um, but yeah. Just know that they're very nice people and I'm and very, very skilled artists and I'm very, very excited to work with them. Uh, there's one other piece, you piece. There's one other piece of information that I want to share with you. And that is that one of these art pieces will be introducing a brand new character for the Red Zone Rogue IP, I guess, I don't know. I just wanna have a suite of characters. Uh, that I can use for various things, uh, sleeve art, playmat art, um, you know, that, that kind of stuff. And who knows, maybe if I ever decide to expand further beyond, I will already have a retinue of characters that I could use for those needs. Here we have a blue minimalism. It's a great card, actually. The blue one is great to search for and then pitch with, uh, with um, the other one, the little, <laughs> that's the one. We have an Ironhide Helm. Tremor of Arathiel and a Howl from Beyond. Arr! And then a beautiful, beautiful prism. So uh, yeah, we have a brand new character. Um, I'm really, really excited about the character. The artist is going to help me design the character. So it's like a two part commission. Uh, the first part is uh, helping me design the character. I have a ton of tons of references um, and an idea of what I want the character to be and how I want them to look. And then um, the artist is going to help me make this character. And then the second piece of that commission is that they're going to um, draw the character in a really, really awesome uh, picture. We have Express Lightning. We have Hooves of the Shadow Beast. We have a Pulping and a Writhing Beast Hole. Some, some shackles. Uh, so I'm, I'm really, really excited for that. The, um, the anime art that we're doing is not a new character. It is Tatsumi Kadoko. Um, but the outfit might be a little different than we've seen before. Uh, I, I let the artist be a little bit more open with that one. And this is an artist that, um, um, professional anime artist. She is fantastic. Uh, not Honchu, but, um, I, I do really like the work that Honchu did. And we, you know, we might see some more stuff from Honchu in the future. Maybe not this year. But we'll see. I don't know. Uh, so we've got Take Flight. That's a common. We have a... Ironhide Gauntlet, Ode to Wrath, awesome looking art, and then a Writhing Beast Hulk. So yeah, th this is stuff that I've been working on for the past, I don't know, month or so. December is when we really started to, to talk more about it. I had confirmed um, that I wanted to work with these artists, you know, like mid, mid to late 2021, but uh, they were finally free at the end of the year. And I, you know, I wanted these projects to go into 20. Uh, 2022 anyway. So yeah, that's the idea. We're gonna have one new, oh, yes, let's go. It's not one of the more expensive ones, but we have a legendary Valiant Dynamo. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, that's so nice. Oh yeah, check that pack fresh Valiant Dynamo. It's a good card too. I don't I don't have any sleeves. I mean, I, I do have sleeves on me. Oh, and we have a Shadow of Urser too. Ah, oh, uh, you know what? Hold on. I do have, okay, I just, they're just on the, f in a box on the floor. Here we go. I have some sleeves that I used, ooh, we'll use this gold one, in uh, the recent Dragon Shield review that I did. Gotta be very gentle, be very gentil. Ah, oh, yeah, really, really sweet. Absolutely love that. You know what? Uh, we'll put it, I still have, They'll show off cots me a little bit, but yeah, uh, pretty good. Thank you, Monarch. Thank you, I showed some faith in you and you have delivered me a beautiful, beautiful 
uh, legendary. That, that is a duplicate. So that is one that's like, you know, like I said, I have a full set. And by full set, I mean not the commons, but I have all the, the legendaries in cold foil. I will also take any alternate arts or anything like that, but mostly just, you know, just want to open up some packs to have some fun. I forgot what I was talking about. We have a Writhing Beast Hulk, by the way. Uh, Ironhide, uh, Merciful, and then a Dimensional Gateway. Good old Bolton. Look at that Bolton. Um, so yeah, I've been doing a lot of stuff with the art. Um, the reason I want to only do four is because I don't want to fatigue people out. And I think, you know, one, one per quarter is a good balance. And I still get to do some cool stuff and, you know, take part of the creative process and commission artists and all that, all that good stuff. I love doing that. We might slow down even more in the future, but I think I did too much in, you know, crammed it all in at the end of 2021. And so I think this is a good, a good medium. We'll see how we do here. Vexing Malice and Convulsions. Because I think I kind of overdid it. Like I ordered too many mats. Not that I ordered a too wide variety, but I, that, that plays into it. I just ordered too many. I have so many, I have so many mats. Um, some of them actually not, not that many of. Like I'm, I'm running low on these ones, which is great. It means people really like this one. Uh, I'm also running sort of low on the, the Wii Cross mat that Hanchu did. Um, also because I'm only going to be doing much smaller print runs, like 30 to 50 maybe per. Um, we'll see. We, we shall see. Anyway, so yeah, that, that's that. That's been a lot of my thoughts lately. I also have some really, really spicy videos coming up. I love Captain's Call. Ooh, Invert Existence. Hello. Great card. Absolutely great card. If you're going to be playing Chain at all these days, you really need both of these ones. Um, so, uh, yeah, I have some really, really cool stuff. We're going to have more guests on the channel. Uh, some of them are friends that I made last year. Going to be making some reoccurring appearances on the channel. Once again, you can guess who you think that is in the comments down below. That'll probably be happening in the next couple weeks. So I'm really excited about that. And then obviously we have like Everfest coming up. And I'm also really, really excited about this. This is a foil, foil yinti yanti. We have a Gallantry Gold, Battlefield Blitz, Battlefield Blitz. As a Ballroom Blitz reference, for those who don't know, which is like everyone. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Everfest, man. I'm so, I'm so jazzed, so jazzed for Everfest. And, uh, you know, Flesh and Blood, obviously, ooh, lovely. Absolutely, some of my favorite art. I have this on the walls in my studio as a print. Love it. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, Flesh and Blood obviously is the main focus of this channel, but I kind of did a tally and I'm actually like interested in six games right now. Six games. And I'll give you a second if you're just sitting down, relax. I'll give you a second to guess the six games. But I will tell you right now. So the six games are Flesh and Blood, obviously, and then We Cross. Those are my those are my two games that I'm most interested in and the ones that I'm going to be playing mostly and covering mostly here on the channel and on Red Zone Japan respectively. Um, and then after that we have Genesis and Legions Realms at War. Those are kind of just like occasional things, maybe every new set or something like that. Um, nothing like too crazy, just games that I'm interested in that I think are fun to play every now and then, right? And so that, that's four games. The other two games are games that I have played, but they're not out yet. They are Kickstarter games. And so they are, let's, let's, let's finish up this pack real quick. We have a Glisten, ooh, Dread Scythe. <laughs> this card is worth like 50 cents, but it is really good and limited. Let me tell you that. Uh, shout out to, I think it was in The Calling Orlando. I just played a ton of games after doing coverage and just played with a whole bunch of random people. And we did some like random Monarch unlimited sealed and uh, my, my, uh, my, my seal was crap, but I did have a Dread Scythe and I was able to steal games by just attacking every turn with, with Dread Scythe. Um, so the other, the other two games are Grand Archive and Sorcery. And now Grand Archive and Sorcery have the potential to be mainline games and mainline games for me would be like Flesh and Blood and We Cross are the mainline games. Uh, I love Grand Archive. I love the art. The developers seem to be on the right track. Um, I've played with the developers and uh, we might see more of that in the future. 
and um, I'm just really excited to see where they go. Deck construction seems like a ton of fun because you pick your uh, element and then you pick your hero. And so you can mix and match, right? So you can have uh, Lorraine, she's like the um, the warrior the warrior hero um, or champion or whatever, whatever it's called. And uh, you can choose which element, right? So you can choose the fire elements. You can have a fire warrior or wind or water. And that's super cool because it, it gives you so much deck building constrictor, deck building uh, potential. Because like in Flesh and Blood, like you have your, you know, your light warrior or whatever, and you just have the light warrior. But in Grand Archive, you can mix and match from the get go. And then when they level up to level three, they gain another attribute. So you can kind of build your deck that way. And uh, I think that's really cool. And I think for me, uh, as a person who loves building decks, that makes me really excited for deck building. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. The foiling on this armor looks awesome. Sam Yang, one of my favorite artists. Love it. Convulsions from the Bellows and Plow Through. So, uh, and then Sorcery, obviously I just love Sorcery. It's such a fun game to play. Unfortunately, that game is gonna be impossible to play on webcam. Um, but uh, like my girlfriend likes playing it. Uh, it's gonna be like the one card game like trading card game that she would actually be excited to play with me and like to open packs and stuff. I'm really looking forward to that. And like, even if she wasn't though, just sorcery is such an awesome game. It's so much fun. Love the art. I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to that. Um, ooh, Foil Her Herald of Tenacity. That's a good one. Uh, so yeah, sorcery. Ooh, Phantasmify and Endless Maw. So those are the six games that I'm interested in. Uh, to be completely honest, I'm only like mainlining two. So far, and that is Flesh and Blood and We Cross. And by mainlining, I mean like buying a crap load of booster boxes of every set so I can you know, build all the decks that I want. Um, I can see myself doing that for Grand Archive and Sorcery though. Sorcery will be easier because it has a much more infrequent release. Uh, I think Eric said he wants to only do maybe one to two sets a year max, which is great. It's a, it'll be a great, ooh, we got a foil soul shield. That's a good one. It's a nice card. We have an Ironhide Helm. Dusk Path. Ooh, Soul Food. I have an artist proof of this. Uh, Daria Klubnikova. Good, uh, great art there. And uh, anyway, yeah. So um, that's that's what is going on with that. Um, yeah, I, I think Sorcery would be a, an amazing second game for someone to play because you don't have to buy boxes every couple months. It's like once a year kind of thing. And you just kind of update it and play with friends. You know, if you play D&D, &D, you can have like a round of Sorcery or something on your D&D nights, I think that's what it'd be really good for. So yeah, really, really good. Or if you have like a, a multiplayer crew and you're like, you know, oh, for our multiplayer crew, uh, we don't want to play Commander or, you know, Ultimate Pit Fight or whatever. Let's play Sorcery. I think that'd be fantastic for that. Um, and then, I mean, Grand, Grand Archive too. I'll be honest, I back Grand Archive pretty heavily um, and I'll be backing Sorcery the same. Um, so, and it's not because I want to invest or anything. Hell no, I'm gonna rip all those boxes open. I might leave one or two for display for the background, but uh, most of them are getting ripped open. And I'm gonna try to get some cards and build some decks and, and have some fun, because that's what I am all about here. We have a Frontline Scout, a Halo of Illumination, Valiant Thrust, Seeping Shadows, and another Bolton. Look, this is a good box, by the way. We still have like a few more packs left too. This is a really good box. Monarch, Monarch is treating me well. Um, so yeah, I hope you uh, had a fun time in this video, joining me for this talk, just catching up, we're just, we're just catching up. Um, 2021 was a great year for me. It was the year that I went full time. I might talk about this, you know, in a video at full, at, you know, length, but it's, it's the year that I went full time. It's the year that we hit 10,000 subscribers. We hit a million views. And it was also the, the first year that I really, really focused and tried to be the best that I could be. And uh, we're just gonna get better from here. And, uh, you know, thank you to all those who watch. Um, you you all mean the world. Everyone who watches the videos, likes, subscribes. Everyone on Patreon, everyone who buys play mats. Uh, just however you support the channel, thank you so much. It, it really means, it really means a lot. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it does. It does. Um, so 
Yeah, I'm not sure where to go from there. I'm not sure where to, we still have two more packs. I don't know. Well, one more, including this one. This box is great. This box is great. And with all that said, once again, Flesh and Blood is my main game. It will be my main focus. Yo, foil red minnowism. That's pretty sweet. We have another Dream Weavers. We have another Majestic. Nope. Captain's Call. Great card. I actually like the red the least. I like the blue and the yellow quite a bit, though. All right, last pack. Uh, I think we're due another Foil Majestic, if I remember the uh, the pull rates here. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's see. This is a fun box. <laughs> this is a great box. Um, let me know in the comments down below the kinds of videos you'd like to see, by the way. Definitely going to have some more gameplay stuff. Definitely going to have some more top 10 stuff. And um, I'm just really excited. Just really excited to do more Flesh and Blood stuff to expand the channel, to grow. And um, yeah, it's really exciting. Invigorating Light and then Majestic. Ooh, okay. It, it, I hope it's that stupid <laughs> Guardian of the Underworld that I opened up like 12 of. It is, ooh, <laughs> nope, it's, it's a good card. Uh, this one is the Herald of Erudition. Nice, one of the best cards for Prism. Absolutely fantastic. This was an amazing box. This was an amazing box. Cold Foil, Valiant Dynamo. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I might trade it. I might give it away later. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I do with this. But thank you so much for watching. Um, it really does mean the world to me. 2021 was great. Let's make 2022 even better. I have so much fun stuff planned. Um, as I, especially as I slowly expand like the Red Zone Rogue characters and Oh, it's, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. So just, yeah, thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time.